What's up? It's your girl, Monica. So this week I am going to be helping you get your business house in order. Okay. So this is the time of year that this is supposed to happen. You'll get an email from me once each day with some easy to implement task that's going to help you get everything ready for the new year. Today, we're going to be talking about G Suite. G Suite is like the lifeblood of all of my businesses. It's my back of house, if you will, for every business. And it allows my businesses to look way bigger than they actually are. So definitely take a listen and definitely take action, okay? At the end of the week, if you stick around, there's gonna be an amazing Black Friday special available to you to take advantage of if you so choose. So stick around, let's talk about G Suite. Listen, if you do not have G Suite to manage your business, I do not know what you're doing. I need you to go to Google, search up G Suite, it's a Google Workspace. Start on the Get Started button. It, it's super easy to follow along, and it's very affordable. As you can see here, the Business Starter Package is like $6 a month, and it comes with 30 gigabytes of storage, and that's exactly what you're going to need in order to adequately manage your business's back end. So as you can see here, it's going to ask you for your business name, whatever that is, enter it. It's going to ask you how many employees you have, including yourself. Just indicate whatever it is. And then from there, you're going to hit next. Then it's self-explanatory. You're going to just fill in the blanks, just like with anything. Um, it's going to ask you your name and what your current email address is. This is important because if for whatever reason you get locked out of your G Suite email, then they will send an email with a code to whatever email address you put in right here. So definitely fill that in. And it's going to ask you if your business already has a domain. I like to get my domain in a different place than I have my email. I don't like everything in one place. So I'll go to GoDaddy and get a domain, and then I'll come here and get an email. So I never let G Suite get my domain. So if you want to get a domain through them, that's perfectly fine. Um, so then you enter your domain if you already have one, and it's going to ask you, hey, do you want to use this domain and set up your account? In my case, I would say yes, because I always have my domains. But if you go through the process and say, no, I want G Suite to give me a domain, just follow whatever it tells you to do. Here's where you set up your email. Now, you may want it to be your name at yourbusiness.com, or you may want it to be support at yourbusiness.com. Whatever you want it to be, go ahead and set it up. And you can change it. I don't think, no, I take that back. You can't change it. You'll have to add a new email. And that's going to be another 6 or $7 a month. So make sure you decide what you want to go with here and go with it. Okay, so once you hit agree and continue, it will say, hey, this is the plan we think you should start with based on the information you just gave us. It's $7 apparently and 20 cents. And again, it's very affordable. It's worth it if you're concerned that, oh my gosh, I'm not making money yet. Should I spend this? Absolutely, it's worth it because I'm gonna show you why in the Google Drive video. You're gonna be able to manage and handle all of your leads and do everything with this whole G Suite thing. So say yes, and then from here, it's gonna ask you some, for some more information, including your credit card information, which is where I'll stop because I don't wanna go any further. I've already got plenty of these. But yeah, G Suite is where it's at. If you are a new business owner, you absolutely need to check it out when it comes to managing your business. Okay, see you on the next video. Peace.